Hello, my name is Lisa Greenlee from Casa de Greenlee Art. Um, this will be my first video that I'm talking over, so I hope you give me a little bit of latitude. Um, I'm very nervous. Today I'm going to be doing a painting with a base of Warm Gray by Amsterdam, Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam, um, Gold by Pebeo, Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam, and Antique Bronze by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I don't know if you could tell while I was blowing it out, I think I made my base paint just a bit thick. Getting the air bubbles out. Ooh, nice little air bubble right there. And that's why you do your air bubbles, so that when the bubbles pop, you don't see white. Like right here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's white. Um, canvas that you can see underneath when the bubble popped. And I just made this paint so it is quite full of bubbles. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam. What do I want to do for comp composition? This is gold by Pebeo, the lighter gold, which I don't know what the name is. I don't have it on my bottle. Shame on me. Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light, which I just made, so it's got a little bit of water in it. And Antique Bronze by Deco Art Sheen. And I'm gonna go back with just a tiny bit of the Van Dyke Brown. Looks like I did not get enough paint on it this time, so I think I will add some more. This also runs in if you have too much paint on your canvas or if it's too thick. So let's go in and do this again.
I love this little tool. Um, Tammy Anderson, um, if you don't follow her, she has this, and I'll try to find the link um, to put it below. But this is what it looks like. So you blow in one end and have the other end. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this. Sometimes, though, as the paint sits and develops, it looks a lot better. So we will just have to see how this ends up. Okay, I don't like it. I think my base paint is just really too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape it, save as much paint as possible, and do it again. So what I did was I scraped all the paint off, added it back into my big container of the, the uh, Warm Gray by Amsterdam and mixed it all back up. So let's try this again. Added a little water. Yeah, I think this consistency is going to be better. Those little bubbles popped. I need to fill up my torch. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully this time it comes out much better.
do not like that section right there. So let's add a little bit more and try that again. And these rubbing sound that you hear is I have some boxes because I am trying to clean out my studio and get rid of some of my um, quilting stuff to make room for my painting stuff. <laughs> husband is very thankful for that and try to get some of my painting stuff out of the rest of the house would be helpful like that much better. Trying to get rid of some of those rough edges right there. torch this and see if something good will come out of it. Alrighty. Looks like I got a little spit right there. Let's get rid of that. see how the final result works out. Okay, here is the finished product. Completely dry. I will do a resin coating later on and you can look in my Instagram reels. Um, I always post when I do a big resining day. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.